teams remain, and four of them are currently on the outside looking in if the playoffs started today. What better way to kick off round two than with the Battle of Florida? The host team. The 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. Shaq's here. Kenny's here. Welcome to this edition of 2K Sports. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Los Angeles Lakers as they It's a Western Conference battle here at the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles as the Lakers look to work home court advantage. The excitement of the NBA is on the way. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Patrick Beverly out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Paul George, then it's Jermichael Green, and Harrell's in its center. Clark, plenty of speed and explosiveness on display tonight. When you uh, widen your lens a little bit, how do you think athleticism in this league has changed throughout the years? Well, it has grown exponentially, Kevin. When you think about the advanced training methods, the knowledge around nutrition and rest and strength training, so beneficial to the athleticism that we see in the league. As a matter of fact, I question whether or not I would be able to play in this day and age based on the athleticism I had back in the 80s. I would have to really embrace that fitness and um, strength training to another level to play today. Well, I think you would have played in any era and been just fine. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that. I'm not so sure, though. These guys get after it. They're bigger, faster, and stronger than any players of any era to date. Now here's Leonard. The pass to Beverly. On the wing, Green. Just five to shoot. Here's George, and the shot falls short this time. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. That one good for two. And I'll tell you what, guys, I think that's the best part of James's game, and he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. And Beverly kicks to Harold. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Beverly against Green. Beverly, the pass to Green. And Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his lens so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground. And because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. And, you know, it was clear early on that Kyle Kuzma is going to be a great scorer. He had no problem putting up big numbers in his rookie season. Many feel, and I'm with them, this is just the start. And he has plenty of upside in other areas of his game. This guy is all-star caliber in time. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. Now, here's Leonard. Over Green. It's hauled in by LeBron. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. 124 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Cousins. Let's it go with a three. That shot, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. We'll go to David Aldridge, who spoke with head coach Doc Rivers. What's the news, David? Kevin, he said it was all about taking advantage of what the defense gives them tonight and not forcing things. He said the team that beats us more often than anyone is ourselves. When we lose focus, it's very difficult for us to win. It's something I stress to the guys on the way to the arena. See if they heard him, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks for the report, David. So the goal is to come out early and get their shooters into a good rhythm right away. And, and of course, that's always a goal. But, but the meaning behind it is that he wants them to play good, smart basketball. Not taking too many chances. You're right on top of it, Greg. That doesn't mean they can't be assertive offensively, but good shot selection and ball movement has to be the priority. 
James against Leonard. And stolen by Harrell. And here we go. Beverly heading to the hoop. Great tee that time from Green. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. George against Kuzma. Ball's knocked loose, and there's another turnover by the Lakers. Bad turnover, plain and simple. No other way to describe it. I mean, he just threw it out of bounds. 11 seconds left in the first. Williams kicks to Leonard. Over Caldwell Pope. No good on the last second attempt there. And still a close game. One of the most talented big men in the game, DeMarcus Cousins, talked to him. The player that thought he knew it all. <laughs> you know, Greg, you see it on the floor now. When Cousins keeps his emotions in check, he's a force on the floor. And, Kevin, that's the key. When he's focused on the game and not the refs, he is almost unstoppable. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? I think they play great D and, and not giving up anything easy early on. Exactly. I mean, they've made their presence felt on this end. Excellent job contesting shots so far. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Markless is out there with Ivica Zubac. Then it's Williams. Then it's Paul George. Clark agility is such an important thing for players to have, obviously. When you look at the offensive end, knowing that agility has that uh, upper value, who are some of the more elusive players you see in the game now? Man, I don't think there's any more elusive player in the game than Steph Curry. I tell you, he's not the most athletic, he's not the fastest, but he is the slipperiest guy mm -hmm. to try to keep a hand on. His ball handling, his shot making, his change of pace. I throw Kyrie Irving in there as well. Kimball Walker, um, diminutive in size, but boy, is he hard to keep corralled. Um, and Lou Williams, one of my favorites. One of the great scorers, maybe one of the greatest scorers ever, under six feet two in the league. Some terrific names there. Here's Zubac following the basket by Anthony Davis. Goes up to the strike. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Williams. Boy, he twisted his body up right there just enough to create space. Williams so slick and eel-like inside. Bradley can't get it to go. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. Agreed. I mean, when the defense is right there, you've got to move the ball, make the extra pass. That's a case of a poor shot selection. Williams' shot is off. That's good offense. The shot didn't go down, but they'll live with that. Bradley deciding where to go with it. To the inside. Here's Davis. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. Well, I like the first quarter he had. I mean, and I'm loving the second quarter even more. Playing with a lot of momentum right now. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they've been a bit unlucky. Some of it is poor shot selection in a slump, no doubt. Uh, but it can be turned around. They just need to find ways to score the ball. Cook is checked in for Rajon Rondo. They push it up for on three. Bradley can't get it to go. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And Los Angeles with some changes. Green comes in for George. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Williams. Well, you talk about the lockdown individual defenders in this league. Don't forget about Avery Bradley. That's been his calling card from the moment he set foot in the league. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, the league has unveiled a five-point plan to improve player-referee relations. Things became heated last season with a lot of star players ejected for arguing with officials. The emphasis on respect and clear standards of conduct on both sides can only help. Kevin? Very good point, David. Completely agree. Thanks. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down now to just five on the basket from Beverly. 54 seconds left in the first half. 
outside Brent. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Lakers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Yeah, last season, around 71% of the free throws made. And you know what? That has to be a point of emphasis this year. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Leonard comes in for Harkless. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Here's Leonard. Nails the 16-footer. Yeah, and for mid-range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot. He, he never loses his touch. Here is Cook. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Green with the rebound. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. McGee with the block. And here's the fast break. Cook leading the way. Passes it to Davis. With four seconds on the clock, and he sinks the layup. Davis has got the lead up to seven now for Los Angeles. Love that aggressive mentality constantly looking to put the ball in the basket. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, friends. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They saw their lead grow to a high water mark of five in the period. Looking at the Lakers, Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? And simple truth, they just got hot. Didn't matter what the defense was doing or anything. That's all for now. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Yeah, and it's been fun to watch, partner, because not only is he shooting a high percentage, a good percentage, he's also carrying the team. We've got Green. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Anthony Davis. And it's LeBron James. And it's Kuzma in at the three. That's the Laker five. Man, you got to respect and appreciate how polished LeBron is inside. I mean, he really excels at creating opportunities for himself close to the rim. Now, here is George. And he banks in the layup. And defensively, th this is the opposite of how you want to start the second half. Yeah, just a real lack of aggressiveness there right now. I mean, can't give up these types of layups to begin the quarter, Greg. I mean, that's a no-no. Clippers trail by nine. Beverly finds Harrell. Here's Leonard. He's guarded by Cousins. Beverly against LeBron. Lock at six. And George gets it to go. And that kind of awareness from George is really exceptional. Catching the defense flat-footed by rising up immediately on the catch. LeBron passes to Davis. Here's Cousins, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. And, and of course, we, we know about DeMarcus Cousins last season and the torn Achilles. I'm just glad to see him back out on the floor and, and fully recover. He's put in a lot of work in terms of rehab and make sure that he can get back to doing what he does best. And Davis can't get it to go. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. And, you know, that's not easy at all. When guys get this close to the bucket, it's tough to stop the basket. Anjan Rondo's checked in for the Lakers. Williams, he's checked in for the Clippers. Here's LeBron, and James throws it down. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a swivel. Los Angeles calls timeout. And with Cousins and that injury, never an easy one to come back from. Yeah, it's true. But fortunately, Cousins has the kind of skill set that he's going to be effective no matter when he's on the floor. And, and great outside shot. The footwork, very smooth in terms of ball handling for that position. And most of the players who aren't the same after an Achilles tear don't have the same skill set that Cousins possesses. That's why I think he'll be fine once he recovers from this injury. Now Rondo. 
following the three-point attempt by Lou Williams. That one goes in. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now, here's Zubas. No points in the game yet for him. George against Kuzma. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut to just 11 points in the basket from George. And George able to adjust his shot there. A tough one to block when he does that. Kuzma kicks to LeBron. The Clippers grab the miss. Williams in the post. He's covered by Rondo. And stolen by Kuzma. To the middle. James dishes to Green. To the wing right side. Here's Kuzma. Rebound by Harrell. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. They trail by 11. It's tipped. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's James. Moves back up. It's deflected. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. And again, the Clippers turn it over. So both teams making some changes here. There's 10 seconds left to play here in the third. LeBron with it. Heartless with the steal. The shot, no good. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get... And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, Kawhi Leonard is out there with Mo Harkless. Then it's Ivica Zubas. Then it's Williams. The Lakers with the ball. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Clark, you were drafted eighth overall by the Indiana Pacers. Do you have any indication that you were going to be their pick in particular, that you were going to go in that slot? Was there any kind of inkling at all? No, I only visited with teams drafting four through seven. Talked to the Chicago Bulls, the Dallas Mavericks, and I read some of the reports about where I was projected. But you know what? Once you get past the first or second, sometimes the top three picks in a draft, you really don't know who's going where after that. So I was fortunate. I landed in a good spot. Right. And Indianapolis was a good place for me and um, Rosie to be when I started my NBA career. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley -oop. And the crowd got I'm their not, jaws not. dropped on that one. Total disbelief. And the Clippers call time here. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. Yeah, there's no reason why they should be scoring at will down there easily as they have. I mean, they've got to be more aggressive inside. Davis has checked in for Cook. Green, he's checked in for the Clippers. Patrick Beverly comes in for Lou Williams. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. we got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. And so here are the Clippers after the basket by Los Angeles. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And he moves so well. When Leonard drives the lane, it's pretty much a guaranteed bucket. Terrific body control, and he plays with the ultimate force. Now here is Davis. Got it. Good job in the low post. Davis has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Yeah, and you can tell they feel like they can get inside whenever they want to. I mean, it's been carte blanche, full menu for them, and the defense really not offering any resistance. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Leonard. 
And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And the soft-spoken Leonard is now an elite talent in this league, an athletic forward who leads by example. Leonard hits them both. So it's the Lakers now. Caldwell Pope on the wing. He's covered by Leonard. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive. Here's McGee. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Well, you've also got to love how aggressively they've taken that ball to the basket and scored off dribble penetration. There's PG creating for a teammate. Terrific dime drop. Caldwell Pope kicks to Davis, and it's in there. Davis has got four this quarter. And, you know, got to admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his time, and burying the quality shot. Now here's Leonard. Over in the corner, Beverly. There's three pointers off the mark. I think that's got to affect your mental game. I mean, missing open shots like that, unacceptable, and it'll probably mess with your head a little bit, too. Here's Davis. That's good again. His seventh basket, seven for ten from the floor. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Lakers. You know, their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And that was working all game long. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Davis. And I thought the defense really looked lost out there, helpless. He had an answer for whatever they threw his way. Shots good by Green. And how much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? As long as required, Greg. I mean, you can tell they want to put this thing to bed. Now here's Leonard. Los Angeles with another miss. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. The shot's good from Kuzma. And giving the fans what they came to see, a, a spirited performance. Well, they've got to be pleased with the effort they've seen so far tonight. Everybody pitching in for what looks to be a solid W. Right side, Leonard. And again, no good by the Clippers. And Green launches it from deep. Off target with that shot. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it. And we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. For Clark Kelp.